Hi, I'm Tracy Metro for The Craft Kitchens. Well, spring is here and after a long winter, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to entertain again. So tonight I'm having a dinner party to celebrate the season. And I've set a sweet table with candles and flowers. And for dinner, the main course is this balsamic maple glazed ham. It looks impressive, doesn't it? It's such a snap to make. All you have to do is bake the ham. And for the glaze, mix together Dijon mustard, balsamic vinaigrette dressing, and some maple flavored or pancake syrup for that wonderful sweet taste. You begin basting the ham once it's been baking for an hour. And you baste it every 20 minutes until the ham is heated all the way through. Now this is what all your guests will be talking about later on. Delicious mashed potatoes made with a twist. Philly cream cheese makes a chive and onion spread that gives them their flavor and creamy texture. And if you are anything like me and you like to plan ahead, it's the perfect dish to do so. Make it the night before and then all you have to do is heat it up before dinner. Next up is a great cheesy vegetable side dish of roasted green beans with peppers and onions. This is yummy and I love using fresh veggies. All you have to do is cut up your peppers into thin strips, combine them with some green beans and onions, then toss everything with some balsamic vinaigrette dressing and bake. Two to three minutes before it's done, add some shredded mozzarella cheese and let it get all melty on top. And now the salad. This is fresh spinach, which is in peak season right now. And I've got some strawberries in here, some sugar snap peas, red onions, and toasted almonds. Now toasted almonds are so easy to do yourself. You just spread some sliced almonds on a baking sheet in a single layer and bake them for eight to 10 minutes until they get just a little bit brown. And the dressing is what brings all these flavors together. And I'm using a tangy Catalina this evening. And you're gonna wanna dress it at the last minute to give it that final touch. Oh, and I don't wanna forget, I gotta show you dessert. This is tropical strawberry cream pie and I took a slice out so you could see just how beautiful it is on the inside. Yeah, it's one of life's simple pleasures, huh? And it's such a cinch to make. You don't even have to bake it. And as you can see right here, the crust is made of vanilla wafers. So there you have it a perfect springtime dinner party, and you made it all yourself. You'll find these and lots of other recipes and tips at Howdini. I'm Tracy Metro from the Craft Kitchens for Howdini. Happy spring.